your virtual presence means so much to so many in our HKS community. Um, could you speak to challenges faced by the LGBTQ plus community, particularly the youth, and what your view is on the set of key wraparound services, best practices, and or policies that would improve the health and well-being of LGBTQ plus individuals? Mm -hmm. So I am absolutely working to advocate for and support the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and, you know, I, um, people have asked about sort of why I'm doing that. Well, obviously, I'm a member of the LGBTQ plus community. But more, also, more than that is that it's part of my health equity work, um, mm -hmm. is that we want to work to support um, vulnerable communities, and that includes um, sexual and gender minorities. Um, you know, I think that right now, um, it's a challenging time, but also an exciting time for the LGBTQ plus community. Um, I hope that, that my appointment symbolizes uh, progress. Um, as Vice Pres President Harris has said, I recognize I may be the first, uh, but I am heartened by the sincere knowledge that I will not be the last transgender person to be nominated and confirmed uh, by, by the Senate. 